When did you start shaving your head? Uh, when did I start shaving my head? I shaved it. I had my first, my first special. I had it shaved. Yeah. yeah. When I saw you in New York, well, I'm, glad, I'm glad you liked it. I, I see you like losing the roof there in the back. Yeah, You'll be right there with me. Don't do it with the cop show. Exactly. I too bald. Yo, hold on. He do got a point. You see how he's using the front here to cover up the ball spot in the back? And you're puffing it up to try to make it look like he's more involved. Yeah, he got courage though. He coming for Bill Burr. <laughs> exactly. Going after some hairy criminal. I'm not I'm not a big fan of Steve Jobs, personally. What are you talking about? I just I don't know. I just don't understand what why, what the big deal was with that guy. <laughs> Soldering, possibly welding. Right? How possibly welding? Did he have like a crew of guys helping him out? Sure, yeah, maybe he did. So why would he went to those nerd fests? Didn't he have like a like a like a chorus the of scientists team. behind him who helped him out too? He walked out like he was Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> electricity. I'm not with you. I think he just kind of like told people what to invent. Like he just kind of came in like, I want my whole music collection in that phone. Get on it! <laughs> Get, Get it done. Faceless, guys. Yeah. That's very true. Happen. Yeah. And then they have the big nerd concert and he goes out there by himself. By himself. No belt, you know, sneakers on. I just didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, I, good I'm point. A man. I don't like people. So. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Yeah, I this know. Fifth Avenue during Christmas time, you the can't thoughts that go through Black my head. Like Friday, <laughs> holiday <laughs> season. Like head. Crazy. I just want to chop that tree down and watch it land on people. That's <laughs> 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 no, a long over there. It's the holiday season. No. I knew I wasn't going to stick to that. I, I, I was trying to be happy. I was trying to be happy. Took it out on Philly because they were a bad crowd. Oh yeah, your famous rant. Yeah, which you've since said you like Philadelphia, and that wasn't the issue. You were just giving people in Philly don't even remember. Uh, basically, if you oh, haven't like seen it, well, I was doing a show uh, for the Opie and Anthony uh, radio program, and they had this show called The Traveling Virus, and we were doing these like ten thousand seaters, and we went to Philly, um, and they're notorious for booing people, and they booed the first guy off stage, and I went on like three hours after that. So by the time I got up there, it was a complete shit show, and. Uh, I don't know. They started booing and I snapped and decided I wasn't going to leave and I just attacked everything that they loved. <laughs> Can women be funny? Yeah, of course. Will you guys just fucking grow up and just sit down and write your own horse shit and come up with it? Start your own fucking show. Have your own award show. Quit waiting around for other people to do shit for you. That's the fucking problem. If you guys had your own big club and I was standing outside of it, you'd never fucking let me in. I'd start my own shit. You guys gotta start your own shit. You got brains in there, right? Uh, uh, yes, absolutely. So write your own shit and quit your fucking whining. We're all eating a giant shit sandwich out here. Nobody cares. I don't care. <laughs> when was the last time I'm you went on stage and you care. killed so hard the person after you bombed? If you're fucking doing that on a regular basis, people are gonna notice regardless of what you have between your legs. Right. You know, I feel bad for right now McDonald's. I feel bad for them. Why would you feel that? Because they backpedaled. They allowed fat people to blame them. And it's, it's just over. <laughs> the second they made the salad, it was over. That's <laughs> funny. They said, you know what? It's our fault. <laughs> it's our fault. That's yep. provide healthy it's options. Fault. You're fat. It isn't. <laughs> Everybody knows it's fattening. You don't order 50 sandwiches. Yep. Right? Um, but they're a business. If you order it, they're going to give it to you. Yes. That's their fault. Personal yeah. choice. And then you think that that's it, right? They're once they invent themselves. It's, for when they you get, it. it's for kids and for when you get hammered. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you, eat, you get the bread in you. Yeah, at some point I was going to make a point here. That's why I keep looking at here and I just realize I'm blocking myself out of the camera. I love that you have the jib camera for this, like it's an action movie. Let's, let's, let's swoop in at these two guys sitting in these unbelievably small chairs. I really feel like I'm going to fall onto the floor. This is insane. You really want to fall out with the really audience, though. They got full-size adult chairs. <laughs> Are these like from the 20s before they had like horse tranquilizers in our food? And everybody was like five foot one? And nothing making you mad? Nothing things upset me? Yes. I I don't know. I don't want to. Look, 
I fly a lot, and there's this whole new thing of generation of people that take their socks and their shoes off on the plane. You gotta yes. look at their smelly feet, and then they'll literally stand up and they will walk into a commercial airline bathroom. Yeah, use it, and then walk and sit back down again. That's not right. Yeah, if I was a dictator, those people would be eliminated. <laughs> hey, <laughs> eliminated. I saw the Christmas lights, I was like, I'm gonna bomb. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going. Hey. Hey. No, this is a no, this, is, this is this is festive. This is it. You're allowed to do this. It's not festive. It's fake. Okay. Yeah. And you stick it in a box, and then you take it back out and you staple it up next year. Yeah. That's what you yeah. do. I love this dude texting for the entire interview. It's just, <laughs> it's just trying to keep the attentions on millennials. It's like impossible. Look at him. He's already got the chains. He's probably got his own record label. He's like making deals <laughs> as we speak. He's Look. Right with the <laughs> <laughs> so are you in the process? I cannot get comfortable in this fucking chair. This is just like one of the worst things. This should be like in a museum. It's like the prototype. This is what... <laughs> this was the awful level of comfort. We went from a log to this, and then eventually they got cushions. It's another guy looking at his phone. I swear to God. Dude, the day Jesus comes back, if he ever does, if he's even a real person, like 90% of people are gonna miss it. They're gonna walk by. Gonna <laughs> gonna walk the water. Hey, by that's it. true. They're not even gonna see it. They're gonna be on their phone. I do feel like we're in a time where everybody is just looking down now. You look at people walking across mm -hmm. the street, driving, doing this daily activities. Nine times out of ten, they're looking at their phone. Oh, I like his perspective on McDonald's. Yeah. His perspective of women. He's just touching on a lot of different things. Yeah. It's, it's nice to see that he's still just being true to himself in every situation. Oh yeah, and there's a drop off in fame for Jesus at that point. Everyone was everyone was paying attention, now no one gives a shit. Oh, there we go. No, but now this is like the ego one. Now we're gonna be sitting above you. You got it. That ego, too. hey. It's fun. Look at him. So the, one, the one comedy through line that's working here is me shitting on this chair. Why would you take that from me? <laughs> You see, Sugar Shane Malti, one of the greatest boxers of all time, he's losing his championship belt in a divorce. Uh, so losing it? It's like you're trying to break a man. Why does she want those? Is <laughs> he they, 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 they go so. with their shoes? <laughs> oh, that was not when you get a divorce, all of a sudden it costs like 50 grand a month to give a kid Fruit Loops. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Tell <laughs> yeah. me what it is. Your character has uh, a lot of tats. Yeah. Do you get those put on? You have you have a tat that says. No, no, no. I have this. That's that's all my gig. I have this uh, mic on. So. Yeah, that's all right. Be a gentleman and help me off my. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on. She, she, How is he supposed oh, to know no, 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 no. that you want him yeah. to be a gentleman and you look like a man? Hold on. How is that Bill Burr's fault in the first place? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. You <laughs> acted entitled to him being a gentleman. I'm just saying. How is he supposed to? <laughs> and who are you? I'm just saying, if you having a hard time getting off your jacket, what does that say? <laughs> that means you need a bigger jacket. I'm just saying. How do you, you see why that marriage didn't work That's out? That's hilarious. I can't, I can't believe it. I have this uh, mic on, so. Yeah, that's all right. Be a gentleman and help me off my phone. Hey! Hey! Can you believe that marriage didn't work out? I can't believe your relationships don't work out. Right. Yeah, exactly. Commander? Yeah. We recently got a pit bull. Which I know a lot of people don't like because they ate a couple of kids. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> They're great dogs. Unless you're a bad owner. If you're a psycho, which I am, you can mess them up. I didn't, I didn't realize that dogs feed off your vibes. Like if you're cool, if you're chill, they're chilling. If you're sleeping, they're sleeping. But if you're a psycho like me and you're watching the game on TV you're and you're psycho. screaming at the ref like, You gotta be shit, mate! I didn't realize the dog was in the corner being like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
being a mother is the hardest job out there. Most difficult job the difficult. Oprah said that. Oprah said that, yeah. Has yeah. that has your opinion on that on that phrase changed at all since since no. you had a kid? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> It's not the most difficult job on the planet. It just isn't. <laughs> Dude, I did roofing in July. I almost, as a redhead, I almost died. There's people, there's people that work on like oil. What was that movie that guy made? The oil, the, the fucking, you know, they there drill for oil. What is it? There will be blood. But not the, there will be blood. The, uh, out in the ocean, they were drill. I can never remember the names. Deepwater. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, Deepwater Horizon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those guys were working on, on an oil rig. The fucking thing blows up. They're on fire. They gotta jump into water that's on fire. Oh. Salty water into their wounds. You gotta swim out of that oil and fire. Later. And then tread water. Praying to God that the Coast Guard is gonna get there before the sharks do. Yep. Now talk to me about a toddler. Oh, he was so fussy today. I just. He wouldn't eat his peas. So what's up with all these white kids now walking around trying to act like they're like gangster rappers? <laughs> no, it's irritating. It's like everywhere I go, man, I figure I'd just be here in the city, we got a good mix of people. You know, I'll be like in the middle of Kansas, though. Like the whitest state ever. There'll be some howdy doody looking white kid like me. You know, I'm thinking this is one of my peeps. Somebody can have a conversation with us. One of my like, peeps. What's up, kid? What's up, kid? I just want to be like nothing much, Brad. You know, are you keeping it real in Wichita? How the fuck are you going to be a gangster in a state, say, like Nebraska? You know, Nebraska. what do you mean, like, all hardcore about your crop? Just in the yard, <laughs> crazy, you know what I'm saying? My fucking claw was wrong, my fucking scarecrow was tipping over and shit, you know what I'm saying, son? I just want to be like, dude, your wife. Go to the Gap, give into it. My <laughs> And these rednecks are all telling me the same thing because I didn't grow up with guns. So they're just going, all right, you never had a gun, you want to get yourself a shotgun. It's got a great spread. That's what you saying. It's got a great spread. You don't have to aim. You got a problem, you sort of whip around. You don't even got to aim. I just want to shoot the guy. I don't have to do like a bunch of drywall work. <laughs> I my diploma. So, I didn't think Lance owed anybody. Uh, he didn't do anything to me. You know what he did for me? He raised five hundred million dollars for cancer research. That's what that lie did. Yeah. Everybody had the bands on. You remember the bands? Sure. Right? Yeah. That, that, that blocked out the sun. Yeah. Right? <laughs> No, it wasn't no, a no, 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 cancer? Yeah. Race cancer. <laughs> the whole thing was annoying, and I hated how Oprah was interviewing him and acting like she was dumbfounded that this guy would do this. Like, she's been in show business for 35 years, and she can't, like, wrap her head around some guy doing whatever it takes to get to the next level. Didn't she, for the first five years, have, like, midgets who wanted to bang their mailman's boyfriend? And she, she didn't want to do it. She didn't what? want to do it. But she didn't have the power to say no, so she wrote it out. And then when she could make a good decision, she did a show. But she stood on the heads of those little people. <laughs> have you heard of this? No. Y'all give me some kind of take. You know exactly what he's doing. Uh, hamburger assistant again. Why can't mom make dinner? Ask her. She's the one who abandoned her post not to do all the lady work. I gotta leave to go do some man work. And is anybody gonna get me flowers and tell me I'm beautiful? No. No one's out there marching for old Frank Murphy. He just watches the sands of his miserable life gather at his feet while his wife, the modern woman, throws on a pantsuit every morning and just... There's my worker, bitch. <laughs> um, what is your go-to dance move? I like the animation. Uh, waiting for the director to say cut. <laughs> that was my well, I'll tell you, when I, when I saw that kid, it wasn't, uh, I didn't have, like, if he was like, you're going to burst out fine, you're going to blah, blah, blah. I was, like, scared of it. Like, I was just sitting there like, hey, is that buddy? Like, I didn't want to touch him. <laughs> and then, like, afterwards, they give it to me, and I'm hanging with her for the first time, and I'm feeling nothing. And I literally put my head down on the bassinet, and I'm going, oh, my God, I'm a serial killer. Like, I, 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 I,
um, and, and he goes to send me, and the, it's his daughter. She's not wearing a shirt, which is like, all right, they do that in the diaper commercials. That's fine. And then when you press play, it's like over a goods. And I press play, and the kid's completely naked, just sitting there, like, walking like that. <laughs> yeah, I hit stop, delete. And I was going to text him, like, dude, don't send me, like, naked photos of your kid, a video. You ever watch the To Catch a Predator? Literally. <laughs> 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 they, like, upload pictures of the kids on the Internet. They put, like, the little stick figures on the back of the car, like, mom, dad, mm. how many kids, the dog. Like, the whole menu yeah. for yeah. the serial killer sitting behind Too much them. information. Yeah. So, do you Google yourself? Because I was, like, Googling the, the show. No. God knows. I was Googling the show. I get trashed enough on Twitter. Do you know what I did the show last night? This is how like, like the millennials are, right? Somebody, uh, I was wearing this exact same thing. You know, I'm on the road, so I got a nice stain on my shirt. So I was wearing this exact same thing. I go on Twitter, and somebody wrote, uh, you know, Bill Burr last night, dressed like, like an out-of-shape Jerry Seinfeld. What? So, like... Yeah, I wrote back. I can't say what I wrote back. I wrote back. You, you did? You so and so. Yeah, it's like, why don't you heckle me when you... Yeah. Literally, got something to say about everything. Yeah, yo, this was a nice compilation yes. of Bill Burr destroying people. Yes. And I really respect him and staying honest to who he is. And he had a lot of funny moments in this compilation. Yeah, he and did. And he really talked about a lot of different topics. I like, love how he responds so real. Yeah. So real. And you can tell it's At coming At any from given him. time, yeah. no matter who's asking, yeah. no matter where he is. Yeah, I it's love very, that. very genuine. Man, y'all let us know your favorite bit or your favorite scene from this compilation. Yeah. We really enjoyed this. Thank y'all for chilling with us today. Yes. We always appreciate y'all vibing with us. If y'all got any other recommendations, please let leave that in the comment section. Let us know. Let us know. Below. We appreciate it. Make sure that y'all like, like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. All, All that good stuff. stuff. And, and we'll, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. out.